today uh, so this video is massively late I did already do a take on this however uh, to keep a long a very long story very very short uh, the original take has left my camera which I left at the last place I was living at which um, because I've just moved about two weeks ago during the current lockdown the original take was left there and I obviously can't get it because of lockdown and so I don't have my camera, I don't have my tripod and so I'm going to try and refilm this the best that I can and uh, really try and push to get some of you to go and check out uh, the Kickstarter for this so uh, to Danny Damon a huge huge apology that this is so late going up obviously things going on which you're aware about and um, I really hope that this can sort of help the Kickstarter to, con you know, to continue to just blow the expectations sort of out of the water so um, I also don't have my um, Keeper Cards t-shirt from the last pack of course I was a um, supporter of the original uh, Kickstarter campaign I did receive a prototype for the first version which I um, sent as a gift to Princess Sophie Pink um, and I obviously have this one which was my backing one which came with a t-shirt which I was going to wear but I have left that at the other place I was living at so Today you all have to just look at this wonderful t-shirt of uh, Prognosis, which if you are, you know, someone that has really good taste in music, then I think you will really enjoy this uh, band. It is, of course, Danny Damon's band. Links to their Spotify and their social media will be in the description. I'd recommend you check out the links to this band, the Kickstarter, and any, any other links provided. Um, they will only be links relevant to the Kickstarter. Um, so very sort of basic description, but hopefully you'll find other things informative and useful. So in today's video I'm going to be sort of talking a little bit about the next Kickstarter campaign which you really need to uh, hurry up and go and check it out if you haven't already. Um, as I say this is a very very late video uh, to be made but things going on has sort of delayed that for one reason or another. Now probably over a month ago now Danny very kindly sent me the prototype for the second Kickstarter um, campaign, which I have here. Um, he actually has sent me some a bunch of stuff. Firstly, he always sends me these letters, which I won't show you, but he always puts a lot of thought and time into making these. I won't read them out, but Danny, thank you very much for those. I always look forward to um, reading what you sort of have to say to me. And, um, you know, it's a really nice personal touch that I really, really like. And also I do have here a whole bunch of these uh, cards. So. I'll get a close on the uh, screen of these, but I have the um, Richard Stewart, which is a uh, Trancha Collective, of course, Princess Sophie Pink with her Black Palma Amori, um, Tarantula Cat, and of course, I don't think I showed you this one on my channel before, but um, yeah, the very first Tarantula Hollow card was actually T. Celadonia, and this is my spider, and this is my card. I was the first um, Tarantula youtuber hero um that they did so that's kind of a bit of a claim to fame for me that they featured me in uh, in this way and of course this one here is signed by danny damon um i also did have a i'm sure i ordered the one of pitco which i don't know whether it didn't come or i've lost it one of the two but um yeah if you are interested in sort of having these cards they are all available on the website so uh, back to the main point of this video, I received this package, make sure I hold it this way so you can't see the address, not my house anyway because I'm homeless, but um, it is where this was sent and of course like I say over a month ago he sent me uh, the Kiba card, this is the big, the bad and the bold, this is the newest expansion and um, there are some really really good cards in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this and uh, I'm going to show you what you get inside. So of course for V2, um, of course, packaging is absolutely amazing to give credit where credit is due. Side by side, they look very similar. Um, so the first uh, set is like a dark green, whereas the second set is a light green and blue, which is half and half. These are handmade by um, 
by Danny's better half. I'm allowed to say that because he's a good friend of mine. And um, inside this, if you remove that, I mean, the packaging of this is just absolutely fantastic. Of course, these are the same sort of containers that you get in the um, in the first set. So it's really good that he's still using these. And this contains 30 species cards and six information cards. And if I open this up, you can see how carefully I, I look after my things. I put everything back absolutely perfectly. So um, this is the official expansion pack with a little leaflet, which I'll show you in just a second. And then let's place this down and you have the actual keeper cards themselves which uh, i'm going to take this off you can see it comes with like a little little sleeve and i'm going to very you know um i'm going to go through these i'm not going to go through all of them too much i would like what i want to do is sort of give you guys an idea of what you can expect in the cards but i don't want you to see everything because then there's no point in you going out and buying it yourself so i'm going to have a look at some of these cards and um Hopefully that will convince you to go back this campaign. Okay then, so this is the little leaflet that you get on the inside of the uh, of the package. You can see this is all the information for the uh, Keeper Cards product and the branding. And inside here are some uh, really cool pictures of the YouTube logo. So these are all people that um, Danny, I guess, recommends. If you are interested in spiders, arachnids, and invertebrates in general, check out these people. I definitely recommend this guy. Apparently, he's uh, apparently he's really cool. So, um, you know, a bit of shameless self-promotion there. I mean, you're watching this video, so you must watch him. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Uh, a lot of these people are... I was actually saying that pretty much all of these are my, um, you know, really good friends of mine, which is kind of nice that, um, you know, to see them. So that's the that's where you get inside there. Of course, you can have a look, uh, pause that, and go back and take a look at the actual um, the names. I'm going to do now. I'm going to show you these. These are the actual cards. So firstly, you can see the actual quality of these cards is absolutely fantastic. So you can see this is a bit of transfer history, and uh, tells you a little bit about spiders. Of course, mention of. Um, the one and only Andrew Smith, Love Tarantulas, which is, uh, if you haven't seen uh, these DVDs, um, he did the one of the uh, first Tarantula Spider and also Rocky Palmer, uh, which is a really good part, um, I think it's a five part doc on YouTube um, on the Rocky Palmer genus. I really recommend watching those if you get a chance. You can buy it on DVD and uh, honestly, really really good watch also the history of the bts if you've ever been to the bts show you will know how great that you know that that is and um it sort of tells you the history of how it started and uh compared to what it's like now if you're not seeing the bts by the way there'll be a card up on the screen i recommend watching that video and uh definitely coming along to the next one uh this is a card on feeders so this is obviously to do with the uh the brown field crickets tells you a little bit about them Really, really good card. So this is obviously a bit about what you'll be feeding them. Cleanup crew. So these are for springtails. And again, you know, most people that keep tarantulas in bioactive will know about, about that. A uh, really good informative card here on molting, which of course is um, absolutely fantastic. A lot of people, one of the main questions I think most YouTubers will get will be, my, you know, how do I know when my spider's molting? What's wrong with my spider? And... Most of these cards will explain everything in a really sort of simple, you know, really sort of simple way. A little bit about, um, you know, the substrate. So arboreal, fossorial, and terrestrial. So arboreal, spiders that like to climb. Fossorial, spiders that like to, you know, dig and bury themselves. And terrestrial is just sort of standard, more floor space kind. And then we go into the species. Of course, starting off with Orchocephalus ezendarmi, uh, one of my favourite um tarantulas really really like these and um just to give you a quick idea of how these cards work it firstly it tells you um there's a number up here of what number the card is it tells you whoops how big they get so these are up to five inches here ow stands for old world these are an old world species um the scientific name orgocephalus ezendarmi the common name 
um, obviously described by Gallen in 2001. It tells you a little bit about this, the spider, tells you where they're from, the habitat, the lifespan of a female. Obviously, these will be estimates. You know, obviously, the actual specimens may vary. The male lifespan, again, as uh, previously stated. Keeper level, 5 out of 5. And then it tells you about uh, the defences. Obviously, these are venomous. Um, obviously, no venom from a tarantula will kill you. And then a little bit here about the humidity, so these are quite a dry species. And then also, down here, the photo credit and uh, who actually owns, you know, who took these photos, basically. So, really, really good. I won't do this for every, um, all of them. I will just sort of go through and maybe just sort of point out a few. So, Brachypalma auratum, uh, my favourite species of Brachypalma. Um, let's have a look at a few. Ceratogyrus is a... Absolutely fantastic. You can see one of his pictures was submitted by um, Tarantula Cat, the YouTuber, and also um, Jared. So some really nice photos there. Of course, Chromatopalma sinopubescens, which is everyone's favourite webber, except for mine, because mine doesn't actually web. It is broken. Uh, Suriopacopus lividus. Uh, these were, of course, um, they used to be uh, Haplopus lividum, but they were obviously renamed. Really nice blue spider. Old world, very aggressive not for beginners. Here's a absolutely wonderful spider. This is what would be considered probably one of the only kind of albino kind of spiders, if that's the right word for it, but it's one of the most sort of uh, white spiders. Uh, this is Heteroscoda maculata, Togo starburst, uh, baboon tarantula, and uh, shout out to, of course, Danny Damon, who I've mentioned him once or twice in this video, good friend of mine, and Kieran Brandt, he's a YouTuber, uh, really, really nice guy. He actually lives about five minutes from where I am right now, which is pretty cool. You can see here, this is a really nice Pamphobetus, and um, credit to uh, Matt Coverdale and Tom Moran. Tom Moran, of course, another fantastic YouTuber, someone that I um, love to watch for his videos, and there's quite a few Pamphobetus in this um, in this pack, which is really, really good. Everyone's favorite blue tarantula, uh, the Pocotheria metallica. Uh, Goody Sapphire Ornamental, of course, these are absolutely fantastic spiders. Um, if you've never had one of these and you've been keeping spiders a while, I highly recommend keeping them. Everyone's favourite angry ginger, the Trina Charles Marinus, or OBT. Another spider that's really beautiful and doesn't get as much uh, love as other sort of brightly coloured spiders. This, of course, is the Tapinorchinius violosus. And... Um, yeah, a lot of people kind of overlook these, which is a shame because they are absolutely beautiful. Give a shout out to Princess Sophie Pink, uh, who um, provided one of the photos for the Theraphosa Blondie, which is, of course, the world's largest tarantula. Oh, look at this. It is, of course, the absolutely wonderful Wipropora diverse piece, and I know I say that differently because Petco from the Dark Den always says it, you know, in a bit of a... He says it differently. I'm going to put it that way to be polite on YouTube. Um, yeah, Wipropora diverse piece, absolutely fantastic um, spider. Of course, this is one of my cards. You can see here, Trancha Dan, uh, my photos. And um, she actually um, did the egg sac and it hatched communally with the female, um, with the mother, and... Yeah, absolutely great that uh, this is the last card in the pack, and it is one of mine, which is great. Really, really uh, like that he included that. So, uh, of course, Wipropora were, of course, previously Avicularia, and then it was split up into the three different genus, which is Avicularia, uh, Cariburna, and Wipropora. So, if I won't go over that now, different video, but I highly recommend um, if you're into a bit, you know, if you fancy a bit of revision on tarantulas. Then I recommend I'll put a card up on the screen um, of some revision. It's uh, definitely worth a watch. So that was a quick look at the keeper cards in the second volume, the second pack. Now, like I say, I backed both sort of Kickstarters and I received prototypes for both. Um, but I am a real supporter of this product, and I really hope that many more of you will go out and will purchase uh, these cards for yourself. Uh, I know with the the, the different tiers, if you go over and have a look on the website, there are 
Um, so different rewards, different packages that you can have on your Kickstarter. And the one of them uh, does come, or one tier plus, will come with a binder. So that if you have these cards, you can have them all displayed in old world, new world, um, you, know, you know, different sort of things like uh, terrestrial or boy, I guess. Uh, you can have a nice sleeve for all your shinies, you know, your YouTube heroes, the limited edition cards, um, which is the one that I'm sort of, you know, looking to get myself. Um, only because I like to keep things as perfect as I can. I actually um, have my like thing like Pokemon cards. If you've ever kept Pokemon cards, I'm actually going to show you my Pokemon cards. Um, they are mint, and they're all in the wallets, and I've kept them sort of pristine for you know for. I don't know, 15 years or however long it's been, 15, 20 years. And that will be the same with these. My plan is I want to get every single card that Danny produces. And I want to have the most complete sort of binder of these cards. They're really, really good. And this was, I mean, this is the, the vision of one man, uh, Danny Damon. And he's done a really, really good job. And it's because of the support from... Um, you know, not just myself, but you know, lots of YouTubers and all the people that are back of the campaign. Everyone that likes his Facebook page, he you know shares his posts. Uh, those are the people that make this happen. So even if it's only a you know, small thing you're able to do for Danny and the actual campaign, I highly, highly recommend that you do it. Um, these are fantastic to you know to look at. You know, to you know, you got a spider and you want to know how to you know you ensure on the humidity of it or where they're from you know you can just you know alphabetical order go through to the species find the spider that you want have a look and go okay this one is a dry species or this one needs it really humid and you know it's really good uh, i wouldn't even say that this is aimed at beginners because um i know myself and a lot of other people that have been keeping tarantulas for 10 20 years uh you know, we're all, an awful lot of people are really, really big fans of this product. I just saw today, in fact, a video that was done by literally two of the biggest names in sort of tarantulas, if you will. And that is Andrew Smith and Guy Tansley, two very, very good friends of mine. And, you know, the fact that those two have got on board and have said, you know, this is a really good product, I think speaks an awful lot for what Dan has produced. So, um, yeah, this is my kind of review for this product. Like I say, this is really, really late and I really need to say to you, if you haven't already had a look at this product, if you haven't looked at the Kickstarter, um, I would honestly, I would almost get on my knees and beg, go and have a look at the Kickstarter because I'm pretty sure you will really, really like it. I don't benefit from this myself. This is me, you know, trying to sort of get it out there the best that I can. And it's a product that not only... You know the fact that I received a free one and I still go out and you know purchase one additionally will hopefully speak as to how highly I recommend this regardless of your experience level how long you've been keeping for this is a really really good product and I really hope that you'll back it so to Danny Damon I am very very sorry that this video is so late um, please forgive me and to everyone else please go back the you know the campaign if you're unable to back it you know feel free to share the campaign on your social media try and get it out there as much as you can and uh, who knows maybe we'll have uh, you know a nice you know a third package um, in another year's time and updates regularly with this it's um, really exciting to see how this has grown in the last year and I can't wait to see where this continues you know to go so with that said everyone hope you've enjoyed this video and um, thanks to Danny and I'll see you all soon